Dear viewer, Assalamu alaikum. I am engineer Muhammad Rizal Haq. Welcome to my automation tools YouTube channel. We know nowadays in industrial automation system, different types of Siemens SMI are using to complete their automation work. Sematic KTP 700 basic SMI is most usable of them. Today, I will discuss how to upload or taking backup program from Sematic KTP 700 basic SMI by using PIA portal version 15.1. So, dear friend, let's start. Dear friend, this is the SMI that we want to upload or taking backup program from this one. This is the model is KTP 700 basic. Here you also can see the model number of this uh, SMI. This model number is very important if you want to buy a new SMI, then we need this uh, number, model number. So, this is the Ethernet cable. That means uh, we can upload, download or uh, monitor the SMI program by using this uh, Ethernet cable. So, I am connecting this Ethernet cable from uh, SMI to laptop. But, uh, in a good news that uh, in a TI portal system, if we connect the PLC system by the PLC directly to the laptop, this is also can upload, download the program by using a same cable by via PLC from the SMI. Uh, first, I am showing the uh, cable connected direct to the SMI to laptop. Now, I am showing the cable connected to SMI so PLC to laptop. That means that if we connect this in, in the uh, 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 seven. 1200 PLC, it is the most uh, uh, suitable, that means the, the advantage is that, that by using the same cable um, from the PLC to laptop, we can upload, download or uh, uh, any program can be uh, using the same cable from the PLC and PLC to ACMI. If this thing, uh, ACMI is directly connected to PLC by Using the interface cable laptop to PLC, we can uh, upload, download the SMI program by using this uh, interface cable. So, if you uh, connect the laptop with the PLC, no need to connect this uh, SMI uh, uh, laptop directly to the SMI. Now, I am using that uh, you see the PL interface cable, Ethernet cable is connected to the laptop to the PLC, and the PLC is directly connected to the SMI. So, I using this way, I can uh, using the TIA portal, I can upload the program from the PLC, uh, sorry, ACMI. Also can upload the program from PLC. In uh, my, uh, in the last video, I have shown how can we upload, download the, uh, monitor the program of PLC. So, I now I am today, now we open the TIA portal version 15.1. You see, I have opened and go to the create new project. Create new project, you can give the name of the project, you can put any name of this project that you want to do. I am saying that ACMI, up, ACMI, backup, ACMI backup, that means that I want to take the backup program from ACMI to laptop. So, I make this one, you also can see the path where you want to save this ACMI that you can easily find out. On the, so, I am uh, uh, select the location where I, where I want to save this project, then select this folder. Then you can uh, give a name, then where you want to store this one. But I, you can do this work after upload completion, you can also do this work. Uh, uh, also, when you create the project uh, in that time, you can also do this one. So, here you also can make a comment if you need or not. If you can make a comment, it is not mandatory. So, I am saying that you have this my backup. Then, uh, in the right side, you see, it is the create button. Press the create, then the our uh, project will be created. You see, get any completed. Now we go to the open project view. In the open project view, we select the project. You see, select the project and go to online, then you can find out the issue or not. I have have an work you see go to the ACMI maintenance but it's an all is a disabled so first we have to configure the ACMI so select project and go to the add new device 
here you can select the ACMI and here you have to select the exact model number and the uh, part number you can see you select the uh, 7 inch then go to the basic then here you can uh, see the part number of this ACMI and uh, put this here at the same as the uh, or existing one then press ok then you see our new device will be added to see it is taking you see open and press the uh, different types of options you see uh, screen layout alarm screen all the same you will go to finish button then you will go to the finish then you see the our uh, new device is added select this one and go to the online then you go to the ACMI maintenance and here is the backup what is to we want to take backup so we take the backup and press backup button then you see it go to the communication then our communication is okay or not so you uh, select the pni and the uh, ppc interface is first one with the graphics wheel then press the start button then the search the user ir interface uh, table is finding the two it's what is a two asmi asmi can find out that we select the asmi so we select asmi go to the asmi and uh, press the create button Select and create. After create, you can the symmetric process will be open to see. Just do it, it is taking some time. You see, symmetric process version 15.1 is open for the taking backup from the ACMI. So, here you see the complete backup with license here you go to the right side here you can see the start button so start backup you see press the start backup then the backup will be started start backup you see try to communicate you say communicate and the, the upload is going on you see in the right side corner i am also showing that the condition of asmi what is that happening in the asmi here you can see the program is uploading and they have the ACMI system it also is showing the percentage that is the already completed taking backup of and they have user profinet and usb and there are different types of uh, two types of uh, upload or download uh, option are available in this uh, basic ktp ACMI. you see uh, here the profinet and one is the usb in the next video i will show how can we take backup from this ACMI by using usb stick or a uh, pen drive this way, I mean, in the next video, I will show this one. How can I do it? You see that the taking backup is going on. It takes some time. You see. So, therefore, I am thinking that uh, nowadays, it on automation system, this type of asymmetric basic KTP, uh, symmetric KTP 700 basic, this asymmetric uh, most are using and nowadays in the different types of industrial automation system where uh, this type of ACMI are using and this system is very friendly and uh, if this ACMI is used in the S7200 sorry S7 1200 PLC it is very uh, uh, very very usable that means a very easy to upload download on uh, by using the same uh, interface cable that is directly connected to the PLC to the laptop and uh, PLC directly connected to the ACMI. This facility is also available in the symmetric uh, S7 300 400 uh, in same way you can uh, you upload or download the ACMI program by using the same interface cable that is connected to the uh, ACMI to PLC, PLC to laptop. By using this internet cable, we can do this one. You see, taking backup is going on. Uh, in this video, I will show only the taking backup. I cannot uh, show you that the restore procedure because the if we want to restore this one, the our machine will must be stopped condition, but our machine is running, so we cannot uh, uh, we cannot uh, restore this program. It's the same procedure. You when you select uh, create the project uh, as the same as the SMI, then you go to the uh, select this uh, project. Uh, sorry, uh, model design model. Then you go to the online. Then you go to the SMI, and here you can see the restore option. And uh, when you press the restore, then the uh, then it will uh, tell you that uh, select the store program. Then you can select. Then you can press the start restore. Then that program will be. Uh, restore to the ACMI and there uh, you can see this one is very easily is same procedure as taking the backup and the ACMI procedure you see or 
creating backup is here going on. It takes some time. That means the complete backup. That means the all the future. That means the uh, Windows uh, hardware function. That means the project all will be backup. So it is taking some time. If you see my video from A to Z, then you can easily upload your program in your laptop by using PIA version 15.1. I am using the version 15.1, but you can use any type of version. That means the 16, 17, 18, all the PIA portal version you can use to upload, download or modify the program of SMI by using this uh, laptop. So they are using this uh, uh, TI portal. You see, uh, almost it is going to the 50 or 70 percent they are already done. You see, already I tell you that in my next video I will show how can take backup program from SMI by using USB stick or pen drive. This also the easy process. It is one of the process. You see, about uh, 80 bar. 70% uh, already taken uh, backup is completed. You see right side corner again I am showing that uh, how many percent has already done. Uh, you have to 50% uh, already done. So there we are. Now it is the most uh, automation programmer are using to schematic uh, that means the Siemens S7 1200 and 1500 PLC to automation their project. You see, and uh, in this HMI, most of the small projects are using by this HMI. Symmetric KTP 700 basic HMI. It is the latest and most usable. You see. It is almost going to 90 percent or above. So, I tell you that if you think that the, my video is very helpful to you, please subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon. If you already subscribe, so thank you. Also, like, comment, and share that uh, other people that can learn about this uh, procedure. Yeah, we you know in uh, in uh, in the world, different countries and different people are using this one. Somebody is know about this, but somebody does not use. Then you see that our backup is completed and the SMI is restart and go to the original uh, the, the when that the display is uh, come and the, in the SMI. So that means the project you see the backup was created successfully and uh, our SMI is restarted. You see. The location you can see where we have stored this uh, program. In here, you can also save this one. Uh, save as you save, save as you can cross them and you can go to the uh, location where I have uh, stored this uh, program. Where you can see this one. You see, the, our backup is successfully showing. Now I go to the desired folder where we have uh, stored our program. I show this one. So you go to this one, this folder I want to see that it is okay or not. You see, that you see the desktop will be created. Uh, new location, you see it is the HMI upload, PSD, PSD project already completed. By using this one, we can restore our DSC project from uh, uh, laptop to HMI. So dear friend, no more today. Please like, comment and uh, share my video and that can uh, other people can uh, learn about this one. So, no more today. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Also, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.